Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a Vedic maths trick where we find the square root of any given number using the Dwandva Yoga or the duplex method. So let's understand what is duplex method. So if we have to do the duplex of any given number considering the number to be A, B, C, D. So if we have to do the duplex of A, it will be A square. If we have to do the duplex of A, B, it will be a into b into 2 or 2 into a into b. Then if we have to do the duplex of a, b, c, it will be b square plus 2 into a into c. Likewise, if you have to do the duplex of a, b, c, d, it will be 2 into a, d plus b, c. Now, let's do this. So, before we do the square root of this number, you will always have to group just like we do in the conventional method. So, group the number from right side and the number of groups on the right side leaving the first group will tell you how many number decimal places we have. So, if I consider these to be the group, I'll have three groups. But while writing it down, I'm going to write it like this. 2, 7, so after one group, you put a line 1, 4, 9, 0. And now we have only two steps, which is division and subtraction. Number of groups on the right side will tell you how many times you have to do the division. So division is done two times. 2 into 2 will give me four times. So subtraction will be done four times. There will be a total of six steps. So 4 plus 2 equals 6. So there will be a total of six steps. Now, starting with the subtraction first, I'm going to write the steps here. We'll start with the subtraction first. Then we do the division. Then we do the subtraction. And then we do the division. So two times division is done. Then you will do the subtraction. And then you will do the subtraction. So if we do six steps, we can end it because we'll be finishing with two decimal places there. Now, you have to find one number when squared is near to 27 or is 27. That will be the first step. So if I take 27 and if I minus it with 5 square, which is nothing but 25, that will be 27 minus 25, which is 2. So I can take 5 times. So 5 fives are is 25. And the remainder is 2. I'm going to take the remainder 2. Now I have to double this 5. So when I double this 5, that will always be my divisor. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Now the next step is division. I have got a number here which is 21. I'm going to take the 21 and I have to divide that by 10. So when I do that, 10 2s are is 20. So quotient will be 2 and the remainder will be 1. Now again, this quotient part, I'm going to take it here and the remainder 1 goes on top, it becomes 14. Next, uh, next, uh, next step is subtraction. So 14 minus duplex of this number 2, which will be 14 minus duplex of any single digit number will be the square of that number. 2 into 2 is 4. So 14 minus 4 is 10. The next step is division. So for division, I'm going to take this number as it is 10. I'm not going to put it to the to this part now. I'm going to directly take it as 10 divided by 10, which will give me quotient as 1 and the remainder is 0. Now I'm going to take the quotient down here and the remainder I'm going to take it on top, which is 0. Now we are done with the division. All the divisions are done. Now we are left with only with subtraction. So now I have 9. So I'm going to take 9. And I'm going to minus the duplex of 21, which will be 9 minus 2 ones are is 2, 2 twos are is 4, minus 4 equals 5. Now 5 is smaller than that of 10, it is not divisible, so I'm going to just take it as 0. 5 times 0 is 0. So now I'm going to take this number down. So before I take this number down, Five is smaller than ten, so I'm going to just directly take it as zero here. Now this number I have to take it to the 
remained apart that is a step it is a step so in the first case you're not you're just writing the number as it is but here after that you don't have any division so this number is going to go on top here this becomes 50 so this 50 will come down it's again subtraction step you have to do the duplex of these three numbers so minus the duplex of 2 1 0 so that is nothing but 50 i'll write it in this step so it is 50 minus duplex of 2 1 0 that is a b c which will be b square plus 2 into a into c so it will be 1 square plus 2 into 2 into 0 anything multiplied by 0 is 0 1 will be there so the answer will be 49 so 49 if i divide it by 10 it will be 4 so 10 4s are is 40 and the remainder is 9 so i can go further i can do further so if i consider here i have a 0 then I have 9 as the remainder here. The remainder is going to go on top on this part. And now I have 90. And then I can continue the step. So this is not required, but I'm just showing you an extra step. 90, I have I can I should minus further whatever steps I come across, I should only minus. So I have 90 minus the duplex of 2104, and that will be 90 minus 16, which will be 74. And 74 again 7 times I can do. I can take it as 7 times and 4 will be the remainder. I can take our 0 there and take 4 there. So it will just go. The step will go. So here for duplex of 2, 1, 0, 4. It will be 2 into 2 into 4 plus 1 into 0. That becomes 16. So we can actually stop till 2 decimal places. So how do we make out the places? The number of groups we make. On the right side, leaving the first group is the number of digits after which we have to put the decimal. The final answer to this question will be 521.04 and we can stop till here. I hope this video was helpful. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and support me. See you all in my next video. Until then, take care.